Good evening, Sparkies. We're glad we can be together again. We miss we're, you guys. Yes, we miss you very much. So we're going to have another Awanas lesson. We're going to talk about prayer and God's promises. So we have to remember to pray about everything, no matter what you're going through, or um, even if you just want to pray over, uh, many of you ask for prayer for your animals. That's fine. Pray about your animals. Pray about everything. Any so, of your boo-boos or anything. Yes, yes. And we, when we pray for each other, God hears us and he answers our prayers, okay? So I want to read two uh, Bible verses for you to keep in mind about prayer. And one is from Philippians 4. 6 through 7 and it says don't worry about anything but in everything through prayer and petition with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God which surpasses every thought will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus I know that's one of the verses that we've learned in our um, handbooks all three of the handbooks have this verse in it so I know that each of you have learned this one at some point. Here's another one that you have learned in Philippians. Um, it's chapter 4, verse 13. I am able to do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So please keep those verses in mind. They are so wonderful and so peaceful and comforting. So tonight we're going to learn about Noah's Ark, which is a story I know that you all know, but it's been raining a lot lately. In a fact, whole lot. <laughs> yeah, Miss Laura even saw a rainbow I on did. the way to church tonight. I did. I was looking for one because it just got done raining. So we're going to read Noah's Ark, and then we will do a little demonstration. Okay. All right. Many years passed, and God became unhappy at what He saw. The world was not as He wanted it to be. His people had become more and more evil. He decided to put it into it all. The world needed a new beginning. God decided to send a huge flood to wash away everything that was bad. But Noah and his family were good and kind, and God wanted to save them. So he gave Noah very careful instructions and told him to get ready for the flood. God told Noah to build an enormous boat called an ark. He told him to fill it with two of every kind of animal in the world. Noah told his neighbors what God intended to do. But they all laughed at him because there was no open waters for miles. Noah ignored them and set to work on the ark. He worked hard for months and months, and he built an ark so big that it was as high as the tallest building. When the ark was finished and watertight, Noah gathered together all the creatures as God had told him. The line of animals went on and on, but soon they were all safely aboard. Then Noah loaded the ark with enough food to last a long time. As soon as Noah, his wife, and the rest of the family were safely on board with the animals, God shut the door firmly behind them. Okay. So suddenly it began to rain, slowly at first and then faster and harder. The rain beat down on the earth like an enormous drum. Streams turned into rivers and rivers flowed into seas and soon all the seas flowed together as one. The water spread and rose across God's earth until not even the tops of the highest mountains could be seen. All the people and animals drowned in the flood. It rained without stopping for 40 days and 40 nights. There was nothing to see but water, and at last the rain stopped and the waters began to go down. Noah wanted to see if it was safe to leave the ark. He sent out a raven, but water still covered everything, and the raven could not find a place to land. So Noah waited a little while and then released a dove, but it came back to the ark because the water was still too high. Noah waited seven more days and then tried again. This time the dove returned carrying a bright new olive leaf in its beak. Noah knew that the water was going down and that the plants and trees were growing again. And when Noah sent the dove out once more, it did not return. So now Noah knew that the floods had completely gone and that it was safe to leave the ark. Noah opened the doors of the enormous boat, and the animals went out onto the dry land. God made Noah a promise. He promised that he would never again destroy the whole world. Whenever you see a rainbow in the sky, he said, Remember my promise and know that I will keep it. So God promised in this story never to destroy the whole earth with water again. And when we see a rainbow, we can know that that is one of God's promises. And rainbows are so special, I think, because yes. just, it's right there for you to see. God's promises. So um, I bet Noah did a whole lot of praying, him and his family, because I cannot imagine being the only ones on and everybody earth. laughing at you. And every yes, yes, and so, still believing in God. That's right. So think about how Noah felt in his family 
and I know that he was covering everything in prayer. So we're going to have a little demonstration about how prayer works. So we're going to have the camera zoom in. This is a plate of Skittles. So. Sorry, you want to do the Sure. Okay, so watch this. Watch how the colors go together in just a moment. When we pray, God hears our prayers, and each Skittle represents one of you Sparkies and one of us leaders, and you can just pick out which color you want to be, and when we pray for each other, you can see how the colors go together and how, jo how God hears our prayers, and they all join together. We're to pray for each other. We're to pray for situations. And our country, our leaders. Yes, and, and you can see how the colors flow together. And this is how God's kingdom works here on earth and how it impacts our earth and our world around us and the people around us. And so now you can see all the prayers joining together. And it's beautiful. It is beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. And it's also, it, it also looks like a rainbow as well. So um, just remember, Sparkies, just pray about everything. Please, please remember that God hears your prayers. He loves you mm -hmm. and he wants to hear from you. Just like your parents want to talk to you every day, God wants to hear from you every day. Mm -hmm. I know we talked about a prayer journal last week. We, mm -hmm. We've got ours. We've started one. Mm -hmm. I've already got an um, answer to prayers. A friend of mine had surgery. She's doing well. So please keep writing your prayers down in your prayer yes. journal. And we hope to see you very, very soon back at church. And Ms. Laura, do you have anything you want to add? No, I think that's all. We just can't wait to see you guys. That's right. So we miss y'all so much. We do miss you Keep a lot. Keep praying. We miss our prayer request time. I know at the very We've beginning. We've still got it on the board over here. Yes, and, and many of those we can look at and know that they've been You know, my answered. mother's on the very top up there, and I just want to tell you that my mother's doing very well. So that's a really good praise report. That's, that's an answer to prayer. So, and I'll eat awesome. guys pray for her. That's and exactly right. That. That's exactly right. So, and many other prayer requests have been yes. answered too. So, okay, we're going to finish in a word of prayer. Ms. Brooke, would you like to pray? Sure. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for each one of these sparks, Lord, that came so faithfully every Wednesday night to church, Lord. Thank you for the leaders at our church, Lord, and just for for the free country that we live in that we're able to come to church, Lord. Help us to just put you first in all that we think and do and say. Help us to pray for one another and love each other the way you want us to love each other. And when we do that, Lord, we just show your love and, and your advance your kingdom here on earth, Lord. And just help us to remember that we can pray to you about everything, Lord, when we're afraid, we're scared, even when we're happy, when we're sad, Lord. Help us just remember to pray to you about everything. Thank you for all the stories that you provide for us in the Bible that are um, so comforting and that teach us the way that you have always answered prayers over the years, Lord. And we know that you will continue to do that for us, Lord. And I just pray for each Sparky out there that might be sick or anyone who's going on vacation, Lord. And I just pray that, uh, to lift them up. And I thank you for all the praise reports that we've had lately. And just please keep us safe and help us get back to uh, being in church together very soon. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.